Hello, here is Moon, and I would like to show off a new log that I have recently acquired. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, I showed this one. I disassembled it and showed all the internals, and I was saying that it is the biggest one in my collection, and I had a good reason for it. So if you compare it to just regular Euro cylinder, you see it's a lot more massive, even if you just consider the actual cylinder part. But it is not the biggest one anymore. And the biggest one is this guy here. Um, yeah, you see it is like almost twice as big. It is way heavier and it is also quite fun lock. So as it says here, it's a multi-lock Omega Plus. It's actually Italian one. It is not Israeli multi-lock. No idea how they relate to each other, but here you go, Italian multi-lock with um, kind of three rows of pins and a very fancy key that even can be made longer if you have it installed in some kind of sick door. Uh, this one is also has additional uh, bolt with additional cylinder that I just, because I can, I just um, put a EVA dual in, why not? And yeah, I believe there is smaller version of the multi-lock Omega. And in this video, I would just like to show the internals and see how to get to the cylinder and see how to, um, how I will set it up when picking it. Actual picking and guiding of the cylinder will come in the other video when I actually picked it. So for now, here is a secondary cylinder that operates the, the large and the secondary bolt. So it's just one that can be retracted here. Um, then since it comes in the door and yeah, well, I believe it might be other way around or something, don't care. Uh, here would come the handle. Oh yeah, yeah, handle would be on top, so that's right. And the most interesting part is this. And actually on the real door there will be a front plate, so you would insert the key. Yeah, now I'm unable to align it like this. And you would also be able to operate the latch. And for the bolts here and two of these that would go on top and the bottom of the door. So let us retract everything, get rid of that one. I think it's not relevant for picking because anyone prepared to take on this would come with a screwdriver to just pop it off. That's nothing specific, nothing um, hard in it. So to this one I believe mine has anti-drill plates. I believe the other one that uh, Georgia Jim has might not actually have that. So even though I removed a couple of screws, the rest I left as it is. So let's start this assembly by removing the anti-drill plates. It just goes like this. And then the other one. And then it can just be easily removed. And you see actual cylinder. It can be operated from this side as well. So you see same bolts being operated. Latch can be operated too. So yeah, from inside and from the outside, same operation. Let's get this one out of the way. And here is the other side of the cylinder. To get further down, there were a bunch of screws. I left just two of them to make it quicker. Not to bore you with screwing the screws. Um, when they are all removed, one was also on the other side, but who cares. Um, then it actually can be 
popped in two halves. And let's see. And now we get to the internals. So here it is. And at this point, I guess I will zoom in because I am not going to show everything at the same time. So let's go in the same order. So for this one, there is kind of actual separate lock. And here you go. That's how the latch is operated. And there is some kind of gear inside that operates the bolt. Right, that out of the way, this part. It is kind of, you know, well, and I don't know. Yeah, that thing likes to fall apart. So let's remove the spring. Let's just put it on the side. There are a couple of feet. We don't care about them. Uh, when this is operated, you see there is kind of some long arm in the back that would also operate this. Um, and this part operates everything else. So again, for the latch, that's there is another arm. I believe they're kind of interlinked with this. And for the bolt, um, that's actually the fun part. So the cylinder, it's not just cylinder. It actually has its own gearbox. And I will show it a bit later. But what it does is when you rotate the cylinder here, the actual actuator is over there and it turns and it moves this upper and lower bolts. And let me just get them to the side. And then you can see how it works. So here is the, um, the actuator. And when I turn the cylinder, it turns there and it moves pretty much the rest. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all of it. So the last thing I want to show is the gearbox. I will not disassemble the cylinder. Um, I did it on my previous take and it ended up in a disaster and uh, pins flying all over the place. What I will do show though are the gears because that's also kind of special. So one can be seen from that side, but there are more of them. So let me get that to one side too. And then um, we'll need a screwdriver. And when one screw is removed, be carefully taking apart. And here's what's inside. So there is this gear and those two gears. There is a spring loaded kind of finger uh, that acts as a detent. So when the cylinder is turned and kind of zero position, then that uh, finger will press in there and you will kind of feel that it is actually where it should be. Let me just pop it off because I cannot operate the gearbox when it's opened and the finger is installed. And now I can put this gear in here and show it to you with the inserted key. So when I turn the key, the gears turn as well and they turn everything else. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Multi-lock Omega plus. 
and the rest will come when I picked it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice rest of your day. Bye.